Right, I am once again on the car park of the John Thompson pub um, at the start of a walk up to Anchor Church, which uh, you may recall I tried to get to, must be a couple of months ago now, uh, but I was thwarted by the, uh, the River Trent, which had decided to basically flood the path. So I gave up and I went somewhere else to do a GGTB review, it was. Well, I'm back again today. Uh, I looked out the window this morning and it was nice and sunny and everything. And uh, I thought, ah, right, OK, I'll go out and film this rather than do it at my desk. And do you know what? It's now all overcast and looks like it might rain. <laughs> but I don't care. I've got nothing better to do. So uh, I'm going to be doing two things in this walk weather and river trend permitting uh, the first one is I'm going to be uh, doing a sort of comparison between these two things which may look quite similar but in my right hand I have a tornado tank system and in my left hand I have the Bowway eye tank uh, which was sent to me by esigwizard.co.uk um, which is very kind of them, thank you very much. Um, these things are a bit cheaper than the Ego Tornado ones, and uh, they apparently, uh, some people say that you get much better throat hits and stuff like that. Uh, so I'm going to basically try the two. Uh, I must say, wasn't a fan of the liquid, which somebody told me was RY4, but it didn't taste much like that to me. <laughs> it came in these carts. Uh, so I've chuck that down the sink uh, and I'm using Titan tobacco um, so juice is the same uh, they are should be pretty sort of equivalent things uh, so I'm going to use these on the way around today and uh, and let you know what I think of them as I try them out the other thing I'm going to be doing and you won't see it in this particular bit of film uh, is uh, filming uh, and part three of the Battle of the Tanks so if you're watching this on Sunday night on my VTTV show, uh, it's probably going to be on in a short while. Don't know yet. Haven't really decided. Uh, but I'll be looking at how easy it is to refill uh, the big tanks when um, when you're out and about. So, uh, so we'll see how that goes. Uh, but for now, I think I'm going to pop the waterproofs into my bag just in case and uh, get me boots on and see if I can get down to uh, Anchor Church and uh, well no doubt I'll speak to you before I get there Well, I'm actually at the uh, water's edge now, and despite it looking like it was moving pretty quick and was pretty high from, uh, I don't know, I guess it was about a quarter of a mile back, but uh, I'm now at the uh, point where I had to stop last time because it was flooded. In fact, I may even have gone beyond that point. So I'll just spin the camera around. If you can remember, the water was basically at the level of my feet on the path that I'm standing on. And uh, today it's not. There's a, there's a drop down as I would say, probably five or six feet to the water. So uh, this looks a lot more encouraging. All this was underwater last time. And uh, well, it's looking a little bit more promising. <laughs> Let's see how we go. So, what you're looking at now is called Black Pool. The River Trent is just the other side of that embankment there, and the pool is basically joined to the river underneath that little bridge. And all of this was underwater last time, and. Uh, what I have to do now is I have to go up that hill there. It involves a bit of a scramble and across the top because even when the river's low and the black pool here is low, you can't get around the at ground level. So you have to go up and back down again. So uh, I'll film some of this if I can. But uh, 
I might need both animals at times, but we'll see how it goes. And that's uh, an example of the limestone, of which the cave that I'm going to is is partly eroded and partly partly carved from. As you can see, the river uh, has done a good job on it over the years, and that bit there maybe even somebody's had a go at it manually. Who knows? Right. I've made it. The river is a good four or five feet below me this time, or at least the pool is, uh, which I guess is going to be about the same height as the river, what with physics and all of that. And behind me there, you can see Anchor Church. Now I think I read somewhere that the reason it's called Anchor Church is it did serve as a chapel once in sort of medieval times. Uh, I'm, I'm not 100% sure on that. Google Anchor Church, River Trent, Burton on Trent, and I'm sure you'll uh, find out everything you need to know. All I need from it is to find a place to set up the camera and uh, and do what I'm here to do. And actually inside the, the bigger of the, the caves at the moment, as you can see there's some, uh, some rather church-like columns, which I guess have been manually finished off where the river started and a fair amount of graffiti well i've had a nice little walk i've finally managed to get to anchor church which is really good um and of course one of the things that i was doing as i was on the way around was i was trying out the Bowway eye tank and of course the uh, not really trying out the Tornado T because I've been using these since January and I know they're good so they're, but they're a good reference point so what I've learned and I was using these yesterday as well so uh, first thing is that the juice that came in these my advice would be just tip it because once it's on the atomizer, it takes some shifting. So I'm trying to make allowance for that. I've put in a juice I like now, uh, but I can still taste the original 24 hours later. Um, so, uh, you know, if you get those, uh, and I think it's RY4, and I'll try and confirm live when this goes out tomorrow, uh, Sunday night. But um, to be honest with you, it's kind of tainted the experience for me because it's got a real strong aftertaste. Uh, I wouldn't say rank, I think I just did, but you get my feet. But I'm not, I'm not going to judge the hardware on the taste of that juice, okay? So I'm trying to make allowance for it. So, yeah, right, okay. So the performance of the two things, right? Well, people had told me that these things were supposed to have a better throat hit than the Ego Tornado standard tank atomizers. So uh, this is an LR. The tornado one that I've got by comparison and the reality is that the throat here is actually quite similar this is slightly better but I think I metered this last night and I think it was 2.6 ohms the bow way um, this one is 1 1.7 ohms and so, so this one is slightly better but this is for a 2.6 ohm atomizer is pretty good um, flavor wise I'd say it's comparable to the LR
I can still taste that 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 stuff that came in it. So uh, you know, flavour obviously isn't that much of an issue. But there is one thing that I have noticed um, which is significant, and that is how well they wick. Now I'm going to try some switching about in just a second and see if that helps. But basically I can get a couple of drags off this. Before it goes dry. You'll see a no noticeable uh, drop in the amount of vapour. And it does start to taste a little, I wouldn't say burns, but dry. Whereas this thing keeps up with me better. So uh, it doesn't seem to wick quite as well. But I always am a bit wary of saying that because, you know, if, if you are somebody who uh, picks something up, uh, picks up your resig and takes a few drags and then puts it back down again, then you'll be fine. Um, I do seem to be sort of quite heavy on these things, and so maybe I'm just putting too much of a demand on it. But what I what I will say is that this seems to wick better than that. So you wait a few seconds and you're all right. Um, one thing that did occur to me, because I read on the forum about uh, them not necessarily being compatible, uh, th these different types of tanks, because there's, there's the Ego Tornado, they're the ones that are also branded as Ego Tornado, but they might not actually be made by Joy. Uh, and uh, then there are these which don't claim to be Ego. These are bow way, they're marketed in their own right. And the cartridges are very slightly different. And again, I'll show you this in more detail during the live show. Uh, but I'll see what we can get here. It's not ideal circumstances, I know. No, you're not gonna tell from that. So um, they do look uh, a bit uh, sort of slightly different. There's no doubt. The cap on the Bowway one seems, uh, it's not as hard plastic. It's not quite a soft silicon, but it seems like a softer plastic. Uh, they do look very similar, but I'm gonna try swapping them about just to see what happens. So I'm putting the Bowway tank, the Bowway cartridge on the Tornado Atomizer. We'll try that one first. That seems to work okay. Drawer is quite tight. But not to the extent that it's a problem. That seems to work quite well. So this is the, um, the Joy Tornado tank cartridge on the Bowway Atomizer. And I don't know whether that's apparent on the camera. That is much better. It's a little bit loose at the top, but yeah, it is a little bit loose. If you get a little twist, it seems to find a place where it'll lodge. And that, for want of a better expression, it seems to have brought that atomizer to life a bit. The flavor's improved. It's now wicking better. Well, now that makes me wonder if basically I need to widen the hole in the bottom of the uh, Bowway cartridge. But that now is viable. Now, having just tried that for the first time, I've no idea if it's going to leak or anything like that. 
no evidence of that yet uh, looks pretty sort of clean inside um, I will try during the show to show people the difference when you look inside the atomizers because there is a difference this one has a metal plate that hides most of the workings this one doesn't so you can actually see the coil glow on this one but this has been a kind of first impressions uh, sort of review um, bit soon for me to draw conclusions maybe I can buy Sunday night today being Friday so I'll uh, keep you posted then nice I need a drink now that PG juice don't have to dry me out So this has been me, Dave Kate, Vapor Trails TV. See you next time. This pub, this car park I'm using, also has its own microbrewery. That makes a damn fine pint. Can't be bad. Not a bad sandwich either. And the best bit, I didn't get wet. So, uh, I think we'll call that trip a success today. Excellent.